Da Vinci's mystery has been decoded after 200 years. On the 500th anniversary of the death of the Italian Renaissance polymath, there may be answers to one of the real mysteries surrounding this great painter. Leonardo da Vinci's relics were lost in 1807, his, his uh, bones that is, after a demolition of the chapel where his tomb was located. 56 years ago, however, French author Ursain Husayev claimed to have found his relics, but it was not possible to confirm his claim. Now a DNA analysis of the hair tuft that is said to belong to the Renaissance painter may be the key to solving the mystery. The hair was hidden in a private art collection in the United States and will be unveiled to the public for the first time in Tuscany, Italy, which is the birthplace of Leonardo da Vinci. Along with the DNA of the descendants of da Vinci, which have been identified by researchers, it will be possible to determine whether the bones actually belong to this great painter. Among the 35 descendants who came from da Vinci's brother, Domenico, is Italian director and producer Franco Zeffirelli. We found a tuft of hair on the other side of the Atlantic that had the, the historical name Leonardo da Vinci's hair, said historians Alessandro Vesosi and Agnes Sabato. And uh, Alessandro Vesosi said this hair tuft, which has remained a secret to this day, in an American collection will be on display for the first time in the world along with documents providing their ancient French origins. This relic is what we needed to make our historical research even more scientifically sound. We plan to do DNA analysis on the remains and compare them to the living descendants of da Vinci and the bones found in various probable burial sites of da Vinci that have been found in recent years. This is according to the British newspaper, The Guardian. This is what the researchers have said, what they're claiming to do. This is on a Greek article I've translated for you, the other is to go. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.